Good morning, my name is Massimo Conio and I am an interventional endoscopist. I am presenting you the result of our randomized study entitled Cat Assisted Endoscopic Mucosal Resections versus Standard Inject and Cut Endoscopic Mucosal Resection for Large Colonic Laterally Spreading Tumors. In these studies were involved four Italian endoscopic centers. We were using a cap which was preloaded on the tip of the colonoscope. This cap is quite different, I would say is completely different from that used for endoscopic mucosal resection, as has an outer diameter of 17 mm, a length of 15 mm, and inside this distal hand there is a gutter which position the open polypectomy snare. The technique is very simple. First, we have to inject a solution into the submucosa, then we apply gently the cap against the target and we um, aspirate the lesion inside the cap. The lesion, should, the, the lesion is then grasped with the polypectomy there and resected. The suction should, should be controlled. It means that we should not fill the cap with the tissues because there is always a minimal risk of entrapping the muscularis propria and so causing a perforation. The standard EMR is well known. It means we have to inject a solution into the cell mucosa and then the lesion is resected with the normal polypectomy stare. In our study, we included 240 patients. 138 were in the group of cap mucosectomy and 102 in the standard mucosectomy uh, group. The median size of lesion was 30 mm, with a range 30 to uh, 100 in the cap group, and 35 mm, with a range of 30 to 60 mm in the standard group. The procedure was completed in all patients in one session. The median procedural time was longer for the standard mucosectomy, being 45 minutes, while in the CAP group was 30 minutes. Uh, the median number of resected specimens, of course, was higher in the CAP group as the maximum size of tissue that could be aspirated was about 15 millimeters. So, as you understand, the uh, resection was always piecemeal. But the advantage is that the, the, the depth of the resection was higher in the cap group than in the other group. The mean median hospitalization time was three days in both groups. If we analyze now the adverse uh, events, we, this occurred in 10.1% in the cap group, two perforations, 11 bleedings, and one stenosis, and 21.6% in the standard group, one perforation, 21 bleedings. We have to uh, underline also that the cap was superior in patients who had lesions involving the ileocecal valve. In fact, in this group, we did not observe any recurrence. Overall, the residual lesion within 12 months was significantly higher in the standard group, 31.4%, than in the cap group, 5.8% and the recurrence at follow-up colonoscopy was 5.1% in the cap group and 16.7% in the other group. We can so conclude that our study demonstrated the feasibility and the safety of cap endoscopic mucosal resection for removing large lesion of uh, the colon, laterally spreading tumor, with a very high eradication rate, short resection time. So we would like to encourage the use of this technique to remove uh, lesions when located in difficult 
position where standard mucosectomy could not be properly applied.